Uh, first of all, let me say this about Luke Pickle. He believes he's building a, a major program there. He's in a great city. He's got a, uh, and a he's got the world by 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 a thread. Cincinnati, winners of 31 games over the last three years. Keep an eye on Bearcat Desmond Rose. He's going to be squarely in that conversation. Group of five teams threatening for the playoff. Uh, and then maybe they'll get into uh, the playoffs. Program coach, in terms of annually knocking on that power program door. They won the AAC, which I believe should be viewed upon as a power conference, but that's a discussion for another day. Last season, but can a Bearcat claw its way into the Chosen Four? Cincinnati this will be the first G5 program to ever make the college football playoff. Yeah, that part of the summer where you're kind of starting to get real anxious. This is to... the year of all years something crazy will happen. Cole and I kind of bounce ideas off each other. Sometimes Tyler helps us too, but it's just a lot of seeing kind of what the trends are now and obviously something that we can do with the space and the resources that we have that makes sense to transition into a uniform. What up? Okay. So it'll start with you on the side. You know, you'll pick the helmet off the floor. You're just gonna, I think that's gonna be the background. So I think it's gonna be like, People will be like, if you get picked and you see the video, you're like, damn, they going to pick you over me. <laughs> yeah, what's the technique going to be? <laughs> On to the next week. Looking at the bigger picture, though. Mm -hmm. But it's game by game, for sure. But we want the bigger. Right. Better. Nastier. Tougher. You know what I'm saying? Very rough cut. To your left. You know what I'm saying? It make it makes things way more fun though for sure. They, they do they do be working their ass off of us. And the graphics is crazy. Off the chart. But for sure. They, I know they the hardest work together now. Hey, y'all got that dog. Oh. I give y'all all the applause for that. Tyler may not admit how he really feels about me, but I didn't buy this for myself. If you look closely, you can see all the coffee stains on it. I don't drink coffee. I run on, there's a hair tie in here, <laughs> pure energy from this program. I don't need caffeine. I'm the creme de la creme and it's filled to the brim But you should still go be with him I can't hold your hand this time I can't fold my plans this time I work at Phoenix Outfitters, it's owned by my dad um, Mainly it's window tint, but since I started detailing uh, We kind of brought that on full time We do police vehicles, we build police vehicles for multiple cities and uh, townships so I started this back in March, right when COVID hit uh, we went in quarantine, obviously I didn't have football, and so now uh, since January I moved home, I don't live on campus anymore, I decided to commute every day. That way I could work in the morning or work after lifts or anything. Uh, so my weekly schedule, for example, I'll do the few days I had off before camp. Uh, I think I had four cars in here, two ceramic coatings, 
And so I had a strip. Me and I actually had Bryce Burr, and he comes and works sometimes for me. So anything car related, I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy. And then cleaning them and making them look good. And the best thing is, is when the customer comes and pick up their car, it's not even the same car anymore. Uh, we try to make it as new as possible. Yeah. So I do plan on doing this uh, as as a career. Uh, I'm gonna have this shop, and we wanna we wanna grow. So um, hopefully we can do that here in the next few years. Feeling about, how are you feeling about the Bearcat season? I'm feeling phenomenal, man. We're, we're coming in, starting the season uh, ranked eight in the country. You're all going to the game. Yeah. Sips, I need to get woken up. I'm a little tired this morning. Because we're going to beat Miami this weekend. That's why. <laughs> That's why I'm excited. Now, something about Clifton, you see, we hit you hard. We are so excited for the season. Go Bearcats. Playoffs, we're coming. We're coming. This is our year. Um, I'm so hyped. So fun. Six, 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 hey, six cats, cats by 90. Cats, cats by 90. 90. Cats by 90. When I was a kid, I had season tickets in the stadium. It was awesome, man. We got Luke Fickle. We got Desmond Ritter. We got the squad online, boys. What's up? Alec Pierce about to be a dog. 11 and 0. Let's go, Let's go baby. Oh, oh. They're setting out to do what no team has ever done outside of the Power Five, to qualify for a four-team playoff, and I know that's a lofty goal, but you need five things to happen at the same time to have a chance. Number one, you've gotta be great the year before so that you begin the season in or close to the top 10. They're number eight, check. You need to have a great quarterback coming back, Desmond Ritter, check. You need to hold on to a great head coach, Luke Fickle, check. You need to have, to, you need to have Great non-conference games that impress people around the country. Indiana and Notre Dame check. And you have to go undefeated. That's the hard part. Rivalry is what college football is all about. So we cannot, that's part of that being humble and hungry. Being humble is understanding and recognizing what the program is built on and what college football loves and its, its rivalries. You know, we've never talked about goals. The ability to stay humble and hungry, I think is, is very unique. Um, we really just go in day in and day out and just, you know, work as hard as we can to be the best team that we can be. Um, and just that we have something to prove every game we play. I mean, I think the expectation, um, whether fair or not, is for them to make the college football playoff. You know, that they have that opportunity with the way the, the schedule's set up. I mean, as much as they might not care about the G5 stuff, it would totally upend, like, the college football paradigm if, if they're able to, to make the college football playoff. I think it'd be a great thing for the sport. I think they'd have a lot of people rooting for them. Now, we've never been in this situation, so anytime you've never been in a situation, uh, as you attack it, you know, you're all, I'm always gonna be, you know, mindful of the things that are around us and how we're handling them. There's a feeling that these opportunities don't come along very often. I think they understand that they're a good team and no matter what conference they're in or what their schedule looks like, that you know they kind of deserve to be considered a, a good team in college football. I kind of just think there is no ceiling. You know, they were obviously great these past few years, excellent last year, and I feel like we've just gotten better. I don't think there is one, no. And I hope if anybody thinks there is one, then let me know where and I'll make sure I talk to them. There was the sense that maybe last year was the, the window and it's been extended a little bit. It, that probably won't happen again. Uh, we're blessed to have one of the best quarterbacks in the country. The numbers speak for themselves. He's played in 36 games, UC has won 31. But you're talking about some potential high top round draft picks. I'm gonna be excited about being in Nippert today. I'm gonna be excited about what's the next level we can take the atmosphere in this, in this stadium to. And, I think everybody is just kind of really intrigued to see what that next step <clears throat> looks like and, and more than anything sounds like in Nippert Stadium. It's a bowl right in the heart of the UC campus. Saturdays here, Cincinnati, the Nip. What more can you ask for? And when it's packed, it rocks.
looking to pass, now scrambling, sprinting toward the left. He's at the five, he's to the pylon. Touchdown, Bearcats! Visit GoBearCats.com slash tickets or call 1-877-CATS-TICKS to secure your tickets today. Last question. What does the term let it fly mean to you? No hesitation. Um, go back to the Hakuna Matata, right? No worries. And there's so much that goes on in a football game. There's so much preparation uh, for every game because it's so critical. You only get a guaranteed, you know, 12 games. Um, that when you get those opportunities, when you actually go and you take the field, uh, the preparation is over. You still obviously do out games, but you, you can't have a hesitation. You got to believe in what it is that you've done, how you prepared, and now you got to let it fly. If I ever lose, then I swan too many. I don't pick and choose, now I'm always ready. I'm bleeding proud over my shirt if they ever get me. Walking tall like MJ 960, can't forget me. Me. Yeah. Uh. I've been the one, yeah, I've been the one. Win up, win up, win up. Uh. If you see me come, then you better run. Win up, win up, yeah. win up. Treat me like God, I'm the one at the sun. Win up, win up, win up. I've been the one, yeah, I've been the one.